The Anti-Counterfeiting Trade Agreement, ACTA, is a multinational treaty for the purpose of establishing international standards for intellectual property rights enforcement. The agreement aims to establish an international legal framework for targeting counterfeit goods, generic medicines and copyright infringement on the Internet, and would create a new governing body outside existing forums such as the World Trade Organization, the World Intellectual Property Organization, and the United Nations. The agreement was signed in October 2011 by Australia, Canada, Japan, Morocco, New Zealand, Singapore, South Korea, and the United States. In 2012, Mexico the European Union and 22 countries which are member states of the European Union signed as well. One signatory, Japan, has ratified, formally approved, the agreement, which would come into force in countries that ratified it after ratification by six countries. Industrial groups with interests in copyright, trademarks and other types of intellectual property said that ACTA was a response to the increase in global trade of counterfeit goods and pirated copyright protected works. Organizations such as the Motion Picture Association of America and International Trademark Association are understood to have had a significant influence over the ACTA agenda. Organizations representing citizens and non-governmental interests argued that ACT could infringe fundamental rights including freedom of expression and privacy. ACT has also been criticized by Doctors Without Borders for endangering access to medicines in developing countries. The secret nature of negotiations has excluded civil society groups developing countries and the general public from the agreement's negotiation process and it has been described as policy laundering by critics including the Electronic Frontier Foundation and the Entertainment Consumers Association. The signature of the EU and many of its member states resulted in widespread protests across Europe. European Parliament trap for Turkater Arif resigned. His replacement British MEP David Martin, recommended that the Parliament should reject ACTA, stating, the intended benefits of this international agreement are far outweighed by the potential threats to civil liberties. On July 4, 2012, the European Parliament declined its consent, effectively rejecting it, 478 votes to 39, with 165 abstentions.